<laughs> Good morning. Thank you all for being here. My name is Kara McElhone. I'm the executive director of the Children's Advocacy Center. And I appreciate everyone pivoting and figuring out how we can be together to honor National Child Abuse Prevention Awareness Month. Um, I think we're going to start today with Joyce Chunglo in the proclamation of the city of Hadley. Thank you. Town of Hadley. Sorry. <laughs> no, thank you. So it's an honor to be here and to uh, present this dedication to the Ch uh, National Child Abuse Awareness and Prevention Month. Uh, near and dear to my heart also, having been a nurse for over 50 years um, and having seen what I've seen over the years. and. Certainly, this is certainly uh, something that we need to advocate for forever. Um, we see it more and more, I think, than what I even did 20 years ago. So uh, welcome, everybody, and let's do the proclamation. Uh, whereas every child is entitled to be loved, cared for, secure, and protected from verbal, sexual, emotional, and physical abuse, exploitation, and neglect, and whereas 2,200 local children have received services for abuse, at the Children's Advocacy Center of Hampshire County since 2006, and whereas by strengthening families and providing safe, stable, and nurturing environments that are free from violence, abuse, and neglect, opportunities are created for children's growth and success, ensuring a secure future for our communities, where the needs of children are priority and the needs of families are met, and whereas preventing child abuse and neglect is a community responsibility that depends on partnerships created among families, social service agencies, schools, faith communities, civic organizations, law enforcement agencies, and the business community. Whereas each April, the Town of Hadley and other supporters of the Children's Advocacy Center of Hampshire County ask the public to join in outreach efforts to reduce and prevent child abuse. Now, therefore, we, the select board hereby claim, proclaim that April 2024 will be known as Child Abuse Awareness and Prevention Month in the town of Hadley. We ask all citizens to increase their participation in efforts to prevent child abuse, thereby strengthening the community in which we live. Thank you. At the CAC, we are a partnership. And first and foremost, I want to thank the law enforcement folks who are here today and all you do to help keep kids safe. And, and our, our greatest partner, the, the folks who make every, all of this run, is the child, child Abuse Unit at the DA's office. And I'd like to introduce Kelly Bollier, the coordinator for the Child Abuse Unit, to say a few words. Hello. I know most of you, thankfully, are uh, awesome friends with the Hadley Police Department. Um, at the Children's Advocacy Center, we bring together all of the disciplines so that we can best represent um, all the needs of the child. We make sure that they only have to tell their story one time and that they can get connected with services. We always, at the District Attorney's Office and with law enforcement, would like to see justice through the criminal justice system, but that unfortunately does not always happen. And sometimes it's not in the best interest of the child. So the justice co comes for them through support of groups, um, therapy at the Children's Advocacy Center, groups like Bikers Against Child Abuse who support children. And this is where it all starts at the Children's Advocacy Center. So it's a great place to go. If you're not familiar, contact Kara. She's happy to give tours. Um, I think it's really uplifting and it's important that everybody understand that while we wish we didn't need this in our community, we do have it and we provide wonderful services to children. So anybody who is interested in learning more, please reach out and let us know. Thanks, Kelly. And the CAC wouldn't be what it is today without the leadership of DA Dave Sullivan. Would you mind coming up and saying a few words? Thank you. Well, I really want to start by thanking Kara and her team at the, the Child Advocacy Center. It's a tremendous place. Um, and, it, and again, as Kelly mentioned, it's just not about justice. It's about healing. And that's really what we try to do for all the kids that come to that center is to make sure that there's a warm welcome and that they know that they're believed. And many times in child abuse cases, um, doubt is cast by a defense attorney. But we know through our law enforcement, through DCF, and many other professionals that work with these children that they're telling the truth. Um, and every day uh, we're out to protect children. And uh, actually one of the changes 
uh, that we made it, is to rename the child abuse unit the child protection unit. And I'm very proud of that because uh, so much of this work is about prevention and about being aware in the community. And if you see something, report it to the police, report it to Department of Children and Families because they're the ones that are the first responders. They do a tough job. It's very difficult to deal with these cases, but they do it with such professionalism. And I want to say one thing, Hadley cares about their kids. And I know that from having worked in this community for many years as the Register of Probate and as District Attorney, um, both Molly and Joyce and all the leaders in this community really care. And you, you see it in the schools, you see it on the ball fields. And uh, again, I, I just hope every community can be uh, the, the same as Hadley when it really comes to the care and protection of their children. So thanks again. And who's next? Our representative. Uh, <laughs> One thing that's made this Child Advocacy Center so vibrant over the last few years has been our state representative, Dan Carey, our Senator Comerford, and many other legislators. They have provided the funds to help these kids with the mental health challenges and to get that protection that they need. So I just want to thank uh, Dan Carey. Kind of got short timer's disease, but that's OK. <laughs> Thanks. Here's Dan Carey. Good morning. Thank you, D.A. Sullivan. Thank you all for being here today. I don't think it's been said yet. I wish we weren't here. Every April we say it. Let's stop doing this. But unfortunately, it's a reality in our community, in our region, and in the state. And we know that. One of the great things about being here is that we have the best in the state. We're happy in the Massachusetts House of Representatives to support our CACs across the state. And we're working on the budget right now. <laughs> but what I hear when I'm in the State House in Boston is not just how great all the CACs are in, across the state. People want to know, what's Hampshire County doing? That's, what's the special trick that they have? We got the best in the business out there. DA Sullivan doesn't take enough credit for the progressive ideas. Not a lot of district attorneys came from the defense bar, came from the register of probate office had that focus on protection and awareness and helping folks, starting uh, funding things like the CAC, changing those words so that we're, we're focused on the protection and not the abuse. And that's, those words are so important that this is Prevention and Awareness Month. That's why we're here this morning. That's why CARES been going across the county. Everybody should come to the Look Park tonight. But I wear this pin and in the State House yesterday, all the the reps were there talking about the budget and a number of people said to me what's that pin what's that for and now we're talking about the CACs and we're talking about the funding we're talking about something we don't want to talk about child abuse but something that's so important and if we don't talk about it, it's just going to get worse so we can't thank you enough for the work you do and the work the DA's office does and the work our first responders do it really is a team effort and it's the best in the business so we're going to keep supporting it and we can't thank you enough for everything you're doing. Thank you. So I'm just gonna say it again, thank you. I mean, I don't know what else to say, knowing that the CAC is something that no one individual or no one organization can do on its own. It takes all of us here, and each one of you play a part in keeping kids safe. So we're incredibly grateful for that. Um, and I, I do hope that you can join us tonight at Look Park at the Garden House. We're going to be lighting uh, luminaries inside <laughs> to shine a light on child abuse and to stand in solidarity with the kids that we serve. So hope to see you there tonight at 530. And have a great day. Thanks again. Thank